Hi, Mike Powell here. Um, I want to tell you about the second sighting uh, that happened to me on the 23rd of November 1992. Uh, exactly one week from the, the first sighting. Uh, it was 2.30 in the morning. I awoke from a deep sleep and I saw someone standing at the end of the bed but facing the other way. And Behind them was a window, a wide window with a sash across the centre. It appeared to be snowing on the outside, but uh, it wasn't normal snow. This snow was the size of uh, tennis balls, and it appeared to be falling in slow motion. Um, this was a lady who had long black hair down her back and wore a white crochet uh, trouser suit. Initially, I thought it was my mum uh, who died in uh, 1980, although her hair had turned grey by the time she passed away. But I thought it was her and I sort of didn't sit up bolt upright, I just craned my neck up looking at this sight and I said, M you know, mum, is that you? And then I had what I can only describe as an out-of-body experience. I felt myself going out of my body towards this person. And I stood three quarters onto this lady and I looked at her face and I was disappointed. It wasn't my mum, it was Yoko Ono. Now as soon as I looked at her, she looked up at the sky as if she knew someone was around her. Um, and I had a look around this room where, where I was standing with this woman, with this warm feeling of love that I can only assume John had for Yoko. And from where I'd just come from, I saw uh, a fireplace that was off the floor and on the wall with a coffee table in front of it with two brandy glasses on. Now these brandy glasses had a third full of brandy in each of them and the, the light from the flames was, were catching this glass, this lead crystal. By the way, this was in full colour. The very first sighting was just black and white, but this and every one to date has been full colour. Uh, so I got this incredible feeling of warmth. I looked back at Yoko and three songs were going round in my head, all complete songs with words and music. And it was obviously the thoughts that John wanted to convey to Yoko uh, and he transferred these, I believe, through thought transfer to me. Uh, eventually I went back into myself on the bed, backwards if you like, and then when I got into my body, I felt this in my neck, this incredible pain, which was to stay with me for about a month. Uh, but this time I had a piece of paper and a pen by the side of my bed, because I didn't last time, and I thought, well, if John does come back to me, at least I'll have something to write down what, what it is he's saying. And I wrote these uh, three songs in, in the pitch black, uh, writing furiously. Um, but I still have this particular uh, paper at the moment. And uh, Anyway, there were three clear songs. So I got up at 5.30 in the morning and wrote these songs down, word for word. And the, the music, as before, it, it just came... It was, they were complete songs. Uh, so what I'd like to do is I'd like to play this song to you and I've also painted the image as faithfully as I could of this person that I saw. Um, I hope you'll like it and uh, hopefully I'll see you again for the third sighting. Okay, thanks for tuning in. Cheers.